scientific study has been integral to the curriculum of St. Vincent College since its beginning. The Benedictine approach to academics incorporates a broad study of liberal arts and sciences with emphasis on critical thinking skills and learning in community. That dedication to excellence in science and mathematics has risen to a new level with the completion of the CIS and Herman Dupre Pavilion. This is a commitment that we've made and will continue to make uh, for the future, to be uh, a solid, first-rate liberal arts college where, where students can, can do science with, with our faculty uh, and stay current. From my experience, this, this science center provides a tremendous opportunity for students to engage in learning with the faculty of St. Vincent College, as well as participate in undergraduate research with those same faculty. Uh, the facility attracts some of the best um, scientists and educators in the country uh, because of the resources that are available in this building. The product of eight years of planning, research, and construction, the building illustrates the Benedictine hallmarks of hospitality and stewardship of the earth. When we originally looked at designing the Dupre Science Pavilion, uh, one of the things that we were most interested in was doing this as a uh, green building uh, and incorporating sustainable design features into the facility. It all goes back to uh, wanting to tie this to the Benedictine tradition of being good stewards of the environment and how we could translate that into the three-dimensional form of a building. Its soaring atrium, a window to the beauty of the world outside, welcomes visitors and leads them to hallways lined with windows into the laboratories where they can share in the discoveries being made within. When it's all said and done and you look at these laboratories, they really are among the best laboratories that you'll find in a college and university setting. We believe that education is not just in lab and lecture room. Education extends well beyond that. And uh, a great advantage of the new building is that the areas like the atrium and uh, areas upstairs uh, provide a great chance for the students from different majors to meet. And we have found that students come in and hang out there and talk about their research with other students, which is the way it's done in graduate school and in industry, not just at undergraduate colleges. We now have students that are here all the time. I've come in at 11 o'clock in the evening and students have been in here in groups studying. So not only has it helped us educationally with the labs and the classroom, it's also helped the students interact with one another and with the professors. What does access to these high-quality, world-class facilities mean for St. Vincent students? They offer the opportunity for research and hands-on learning that make a difference in today's competitive landscape. As a freshman, I was surprised that I had access to the digital imaging lab um, because a lot of universities and colleges don't have that technology available, especially as a freshman, that was just amazing to me. This summer I was given an opportunity to do research with a lot of my professors, and I've been doing a lot of work in the synthetic lab, and we got to use um, a brand new piece of equipment, the glove box, uh, which is a very big deal for a college of our size. St. Vincent graduates are working as mechanical engineers, quality technologists, programmers and software specialists, high school teachers and university professors, and doing research in areas including genetics, neurobiology, and nuclear physics. But ultimately, the final product is a science building that puts St. Vincent College at, uh, at and, and above the level of its peer institutions across the country.